Where's that dudes? Weren't those on the tractor? They gotta be able to see your face. Ooh, my bad guys. Hi guys. We're on the tractor and we're How many hours left on this field? Uh, like five hours. Yeah, big field here. Show the drill back there. We can stop. The with me now. I don't even know when the last time I filmed. I haven't filmed in a while. Here's the update. I've got dad finished. Dad, I don't even know if I should. I don't even know when I talked to you last. I'm not going to go back and look. I'm just going to shoot from the hip. I've got dad got a my farm Ephesians 320 shredded working on Graceland and so got that and another one at his house. So around 300 acres a little less than 300 acres left to shred. Um, and so I've gotten fertilized almost all the way up to that point. And I have gotten, I'm on the last field over here near the barn to sow wheat. There's 150 acres and I've done almost 60 acres of that. May not finish today because it's going to take, how long, how long do I say? Five hours. Five hours, he said. I'm not staying that long. Well, I figured he probably wouldn't want to, but going to hang out with me for a little bit. So. We'll need to get seed in a minute. He's gonna help me with that. Uh, we just put diesel in. What color was that diesel? Red. It was red. Um, so, thankful to have him. It's the last day of Thanksgiving. Well, Thanksgiving break um, is over. Tomorrow's Sunday. And then back to reality, back to school, right? But she's kind of excited, kind of not. Um, but we, we've been with, at my parents last, last uh, night and today for lunch and hanging out seeing my sisters and all their family and so Emily went on to get our lives back in order for the new week and I took this rascal with me. That's a, that's a look of a rascal if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Just finding ways to entertain ourselves on this tractor. Show us Master of Disguise. new day today. I don't have my buddy with me anymore. It's fun when they come with me, but it's a lot of, uh, a lot of hours of sitting. Not, not great for little boys, but it's Sunday after church. Um, I'm going to get this done. And I didn't feel much yesterday after end of the day because we went to go fill up with seed. True, it was with me. And I was, I was on the last box. It was getting close to full and I ran out of grain in that cart. So, there was a big shuffle. I had to get the other cart out, put the empty cart in because there's a chance of rain, put that full cart back in, and I had to move some things um, so I could get the grain drill in the barn. I just didn't want it to get rained on. It didn't rain. But I got it all in there, and so that just took a long time. True went home, uh, he got picked up, and I decided it was getting late at that point. I just called it and quit so sorry lots of moving around but and also true to have my phone i was trying to keep him appeased he was having a little bit of an asthma attack and he was getting ready to go home so you know excuses but valid ones 
So today, um, this afternoon, because it gets dark so fast, it's crazy. It goes from like dark at nine o'clock and then time change, and it's dark at like 5.30 it seems. That's crazy. So I'm going to get this done. I have 117 acres done of this, about 155 or so. That'll take me a couple more, a couple more hours. Uh, after that, I'm gonna drive this over to my parents' house because then all I lack are the, all I lack, three fields, but big fields, 150 acre plus fields. Um, so I'll do that this week. And then when I get over there, I'm gonna finish. Dad's got enough shredding ahead of me. I can spray out the next load of fertilizer. Um, I'd like to get that all done before it gets dark because I don't want to spray. This I can do in the dark. And I could have done, I could have done it opposite, but Emily dropped me here off after church. So I don't have a car or truck. So this makes the most sense. Drive over there, get the sprayer tractor, spray that out before it's dark. That's the goal. And then I'll go home. And then we'll just keep trucking tomorrow. All right, just finished. So now I got to Hold on. Now I got to put the uh, drill and road bow, road gear, whatever. It's just uh, locking cylinders. Raising the up. That one gets stuck. And doing some climbing. I don't know if I showed you this or not. It's just easier to do like this. It's hard to film though. Say that. One more. Hope you're appreciating this. It's probably a terrible video. Well, I don't know if it's out, that was as impressive for what you saw as it was in real life. On to the next thing, driving to my parents, switching tractors, sun is setting way quicker than it should. All right, on to the next field and the next job. Got the sprayer loaded. This tractor needs new batteries, so it, uh, it took a little minute to encourage it to start, but it did. It's on my list of to-dos, new batteries. Um, I just need to get finished with some things. So, new batteries. But um, yeah, I got it, got the pump circulated, and ran some fertilizer through all the things because it's gonna get a little cold. They got, they got to like 20, Oh, in the 20s, like 28, 29 last night, I think. Um, everything seems to be good, no leaks. That's not that cold, probably, for long enough to freeze anything. But tonight, they're saying a little colder, maybe 25, 26. That might freeze some things. Maybe, if it stays there long enough. But um, then it's going to warm back up. So, just ran some fertilizer. Fertilizer will keep those things from freezing. Because the freezing point is lower lower freezing point is lower yeah takes colder temperatures to freeze fertilizer so the only issue is that black tank has water in it i think we decided we're gonna leave the water in there that maybe uh it'll take it'll, if there was just remnants of water that would freeze faster than a big jug of water so hopefully that's the case it's going it's working streaming fertilizer as it should just got the perimeter. Sorry, just got the perimeter done, and now it's going down the field. I've got. Uh, oh, sorry. This is a row. I'm, I'll be right back. Sorry, I had to pay attention because I was finishing a short row that I, or I ran out last time I was here. Just need, I need my extra, my other hand. So I'm back. Um, yeah, just lots of up and down here. I'll get this. Oh, 90 or so acres. 90 to 100 acres uh, here that I've got left and then I'll be able to get spray the last oh, 50 acres left in this tank over at Graceland that's shredding there 
but he's gotten at least 60 acres shredded there, uh, so enough to spray that out. <clears throat> so then I'll be caught up to him again on shredding. Tomorrow I'll come over here and start sowing this. He'll keep working on shredding. Um, we've got to get some grain moved over here in the carts. And uh, diesel, the diesel trailer will need to be over here at some point. Not tomorrow probably, but uh, the next. And hopefully he can get that done and then move on to his house. And we'll be getting this thing wrapped up. The one thing I do want to get done, let me turn around now and I'll tell you. I'm back. The thing I want to do or need to do, Dad, over here at Graceland, there's some pretty good washes. And I knew there was, but they were in the cotton. And um, I fixed the turn rows. I scraped and then plowed those with the disc. And they're in really good shape on both ends because we haven't had a big rain since doing that. Um, but just right inside the cotton, the, the gullies continued or, and started. And so now they're exposed from shredding. They need to be fixed. I'd love to scrape them, but then we scrape it. We're not going to grow anything there. So I'm going to think what I'd like to do is get all the spraying done. Get this tractor done with the sprayer, unhook the sprayer, and then hook up to the disc and bring it over and plow those spots. At least that, that's what that dad suggested that. I think that makes sense. So, But to do that, I'll need to have him done shredding so I can be done spraying. I hope that works out because I really don't want to go, you know, extra back and forth, unhook, rehook. It's not that big a deal, but if I don't have to, I don't want to. So stay tuned to see if that works out. the next one so good morning it's uh it got cold last night i don't think it got that cold necessarily right here at least i hope not because the sprayer remember we talked about that um but the mesonet which is this thing that texas tech does with weather stations all around said haskell which is just 10 miles that way was down to 23 and astronaut which is you know further that way was 19 and so yeah, that's cold. So hopefully the sprayer is good. Can't do anything about it now. Hopefully it kills all these uh, grasses that have, that came up and finishes killing everything. And anyways, got cold this morning. I'm covered in wheat dust already. Dad and I met at the barn, and um, I've got this cart. This is almost full. I just took a little bit out the other night, and then the other cart, uh, then the the grain truck. There's no auger on the truck, so we have an auger that we put in there and have a system to get it into another, the other grain cart. And so we were doing that this morning and uh, starting to get a little bit tightness in my throat. Some wheat does. We found some weevils in there. I don't think it's widespread, just a spot along the side. I, we spray it with a, a chemical to keep it, keep that from happening. But if it got wet, something happened. So that weevil wheat dust is rough. I'm just thankful, knock on wood, my eyes aren't watering yet. But I'm going to go in and take an allergy pill at my parents in a minute. But first, I'm going to fill up with wheat seed. So why do that until I get dirty again? So I'm going to get this ready, filled up. Then I'm going to go start sowing at my farm, the Ephesians 320. And just more of the same. I don't need seed just yet, but saves from having a trip. Make a trip back or someone to bring me seed. So I'll fill up. That'll get me over over halfway done, maybe two thirds done with that field, and then I will need to fill up. Let's do it. I hate greasing. I told you that. It's just greasy and dirty. Hard to reach places. This uh, drill has a neat feature that uh, you can't access all the grease points when it's unfolded like this. So you have to start and you have to go in and lower the gangs down because uh, 
There's one right there that you can't get to when it's the other way. So that's fun. And then there's some you can't get to while it's fold, unfolded. You have to fold it in to get these center hinges to fold the sections out. That's fun. Greasing. Necessary. Is it fun? No. But I'll keep doing it. Well, have you ever seen a herd of turtles? Well, me neither, but off like a herd of turtles. Says it all, right? I'm, I'm off, but slowly and uncoordinatedly. Like turtles. Oh, back to it. So some places, it looks fairly white after I shred. Here's an example of not white. It's just, there's just like no cotton out here. Um, that easy decision to shred this down. And I'm going, got uh, as close as I want to get to the fence over there. Now just lots of these up and back. So something last night that happened with dad, he was shredding while I was finishing up spraying and he heard a, a weird noise from that tractor and then a, he smelled something burning. Um, I don't know, old tractor, like 90 model, I think, 91 model. I mean, it's just people use old tractors all the time, but you just never know what's, what could happen. Uh, he checked it over and didn't see anything. Didn't All the fluids look good. It was dark. So he's over there checking right now. Uh, I was hoping that I could see him going. But I don't see him going yet, I don't think. Hopefully there's not an issue. Hopefully it was just a fluke. thought maybe, maybe a stalk got into the uh, fan or maybe it got around that belt and then the belt went around the alternator and uh, that was the noise. I don't know, so hopefully that's the case. If the tractor's down, then we're down our tractor and we're short of tractor to do the things we need to do. So we have to uh, probably take the sprayer off and shred with that tractor and then go back to spraying fertilizer. But remember, I also need to plow the ends over there. So I'd have to, anyways. We're just praying for new issue. All right, now I'm off that first row. It's pretty hard packed because we drive there. Also, it's basically a food plot for the deer that come out of here. Side note, uh, I'm going to maybe I'm gonna get all this done. I may put like a, a blind, deer blind down there because last Two years ago, I tried to take Denton hunting and I just, we don't have anything set up for that. I like to hunt, I just never really, it's dead. We just hadn't done it as a family, but uh, I don't have great places to work because we have farmland, not pasture land. But we parked the Suburban we had back on the turn over there and we closed the back hatch and then opened the window and we hunted through there. Uh, we saw in this patch over here, the neighbors like 20 deer and they just never would come across the fence for us to shoot. So. Uh, this is the same setup as that year. So wheat here and wheat there. Should have some deer coming around in here, but if I put a blind and maybe a, a feeder, I don't know. It's already almost December, so it'd be short-lived, and I don't know. Have, I haven't been training them to come eat from that, but I'm sure they'll find it. So anyways, I'm out here checking the uh, settings, see how everything looks, make sure that there's seed coming out of all of these cups right here and that there are no clogs. A clog would show um, if, if there's, the thing is full of seed, like the whole, not just, not just what you see inside of there, but like the whole thing would be full. Um, so that's good. And then I'm also checking the discs. If the discs are locked up, they'll be pushing dirt. And uh, they seem to be doing okay for now. So looking for those things. And then the other thing is new field, new conditions, new, uh, this soil said before is pretty mellow, making sure I'm not going too deep or too shallow. So I'm gonna check that now. But here's the challenge. Some places it's really good, like here in the blank between rows, it's got good loose soil and, and moisture. And then here where we drive between the rows, very hard and seed is like almost sometimes literally just sitting on the surface and we just can't just can't get in the ground there so and then also this is where a sprayer track was same deal you can't see that very good now you can 
it's just dry powdery dirt and the challenge we have every year just um the stuff in the blanks will come up because it's we don't drive there and it, it's got good moisture and we get it into get it deeper in the wet soil and the stuff in the tracks is going to probably just need a rain to get it to come up hopefully the cranes and all the animals don't eat it off the top pigs even we'll find those little bitty seeds hopefully they'll, they'll get a rain and come up before they uh get to it so i had dad come get me uh on his way back the tractor he um he came by to get me let me finish came by to get me to take me to my truck so that i have a truck when i'm finished to leave with and so now i do but i thought when i was on my way i'd go by and check this wheat that i planted a while back um because i hadn't been out here since i planted it and um first off the tractor the shredder tractor he thinks the air conditioner uh clutch on the air conditioner compressor went out which would explain the the noise and the burning noise burning smell but he's checking on the oil pressure sensor to make sure he's not going to run the engine dry on oil which would be bad so hopefully that's just that's the issue that would be a blessing it would uh something we could do after shredding as long as dad could handle no no air conditioner secondly um i'm out here at the wheat and uh, let me show you what it looks like and so it looks like that and the camera is not probably doing it justice but it looks good um all the way through the field it looks like a good stand uh, i'm pleased with that here's a close-up just because i do those things for you wheat got a good start now we need some rain all right back to what i'm trying to get done enough sightseeing So I think I have a disc that's locked down, or just it seems like this some one part of the plow or the planter is always um, not going in the ground. Like I said, right here behind the between the pairs, I expect that. But uh, it's this section right here that is seems to be always like that, and so I don't know. I'm gonna see if this this is locked down. This no, those are good. Must just always, I don't know, it's right behind those tires, which is also behind the tractor tires. I don't know. I guess it's just, um, it's my imagination. I don't know. Keep watching it. Thanks for watching.